Hi everyone, thanks for dropping in again. It's Snake Venom and Dr. Damage. And today we're going to take a look at something we built uh, well, a few months back actually. Um, we call it the Cliff Dwellers Home. And basically I had come up with an idea for a ruined city built in some cliffs or inside a mountain. And then Snake took a, took a look around and found a, a really great site for that. So that's what we're going to expo explore today. So I'll lead the way at the start here over to the uh, uh, sort of a Stonehenge thing we have. And then and Snake will take over for the full tour. Okay, so follow us. Cool. And, uh, a little more to the right. A little more to the right. Thick, thick trees. Okay, here we are. <laughs> a little bit of a snafu there. <laughs> nice. So what we have here is a sort of our Stonehenge thing. Um, we got lots of uh, blocks. Uh, the big theme you'll see in this whole Cliff Dwellers uh, place is the the carved blocks and the ruined blocks and all that. We think those look really great. Snake designed this extremely well. Um, there's lots of uh, moss and, and lichen growing on it. Um, there's a pool here in the center. Um, and we've got uh, a couple of columns here are ruined and some other things. Yeah. And here's a ruined column right here, which looks really great. <clears throat> yeah, this was really fun to build. Yeah, it was. And of course, I love planting grass on everything, so. <laughs> kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. So let's uh, start off towards the main entrance to the cliff dwellers thing. All so right. here's the old ruined road. And we come to this river, which it crosses. And as you can see, the little pathway here is ruined. There's over to the left. There's a a little ship uh, or a little canoe type dock. Uh, there's nothing in there at the moment, but we uh, need to do something. Our stairs are ruined here. And as you come up them, you you come to the main entrance to the cliff dwellers thing. Snake, why don't you take over? Sure. So you can kind of see the uh, the beginnings of the cliff dwellers above the wall, but we had this nice little plateau here, so we decided to make the first entrance in be an underground entrance. So you walk in. There's actually uh, actually a trap here with a tripwire. Luckily we can't get hurt. <laughs> Hit them behind the walls. Yeah, it's funny. I totally forgot about that, actually. Yeah. So as you walk through a little bit further, you'll come out into the open air. You can see a bit of a ruined wall on the right-hand side. And then you see kind of the grand cliff area. There's a bit of a an indentation in the cliffs down here, which is the main area we'll go and explore. But the dwellings continue along the along the wall here on this side. And then there's a few old large trees that have been growing for a while here on the on the plateau. So this top plateau area is actually surrounded by a little bit of a wall. You can imagine that at one point this was walled off to keep out keep out the things they don't want in that little village area. Yes, now it's quite useless for that, as we found on a few occasions, <laughs> as the mobs do wander in. So, so uh, it's worth pointing out too. We didn't really landscape this very much at all. So what you see here is actually mostly naturally occurring uh, rock and mountains. That's right. That's right. Just with the exception of replacing some of the stone with with uh, with blocks for where the rooms and stuff are. So over here, there's a little bit of a little bit of a altar here with a button. Maybe make people think, "Hey, is this supposed to do something?" But that switch doesn't do anything. And uh, when you come around the corner here, there's a little bit of a there's another uh, another little spot, and this one has a button. So there's actually a mechanical door here that allows you into this part of the cliff dwellers. But we can reach the same area by going in the main entrance, so I think we should go that way just to kind of <coughs> see the way people would have entered. And that is right here. I'll follow you in. So yeah, most of uh, the the little rooms and such throughout are, uh, are unfurnished. We felt that you know, if they had furnishings, furnishings back then, they probably would have used wood, but it would have deteriorated and disappeared by now. But here's one of the little outlooks that looks out actually the other side of the mountain from the side that we entered in. Um, from here, you can kind of see, again, the inside courtyard. And then there are a couple directions to go. There's uh, down 
kind of heads down into uh, a lower area. We, we created a little office here. Dr. Damage did to like store our goods and things while we were building and excavating around this area. Yeah, the, sort of the, uh, the, the handle for this is sort of a archaeological dig and so this is an ancient ruins which are now being explored by Professor Glory and his team of underpaid graduate students. <laughs> Nicely done. Uh, going back up this way we'll head up up these stairs here there's a little bit of a room here, probably for a family. And then continuing up the stairs, there's a bit of a turn. And again, we have another outlook, another room. So this area is kind of nice because it's on both sides of the mountain. You can actually see out both sides with some nice balconies. Uh, from here, there's a little area that goes down to another little room. So you can kind of envision that there would be a bunch of families living here in this area. Each one would have kind of their own little room and all the rooms interconnect with winding passages and staircases. It's a bit of a bigger area up here. The longer balcony. And turning to the right, we head down a little bit again the little outlook. So we're, this is right at the end of the little indentation. Uh, shall we go up or down? Okay, so down here, just quickly, another room. And then these stairs go down from here, connect back down to the archaeological dig office. That's the main office down there. So continue our adventure up. So if we go up these stairs, you'll actually head up outside again. So there's a bit of a platform here that crosses and some lava pouring down to the lower level. So that's where we came in, down there. As we come over here, we have a ladder that takes you up to, uh, to this area. So let's see, which side should we start with? Uh, I think go across, Nick. We'll go across, okay. So. This area has actually like a wooden suspension bridge, or I guess not really a suspension bridge, but uh, too hard to do ropes and things in here. But yeah, a little bit of a wooden bridge that crosses over back to this side. And then uh, there's a couple little rooms here on this side. Again, lookouts on both sides. And these stairs go back down. One little room here, and one little room on the other side. This is actually a nice size room. Again, looking over the courtyard and the wall and the trees that are growing there. And finally, these stairs, which head back down to uh, the main spiral stair that we came up from the archaeological office and up to the main room here. So this kind of concludes this side of the tour. Let's go back down through the main door we'll head up head up through that uh, the mechanical door Let's see the sun setting to the west so we'll get to have a little bit of a, a view of what it looks like at night oh I had the wrong way right over here Let's see if we get squished the door is very fast all right, so you head up these double stairs into a room here, again with an outlook. So most of the rooms we've seen so far have been with balconies on the outer edge. In this area, we actually built some more interior rooms. So we head to the left here, there's a little room here with the interior, and another one here. So we could expand, put some more interior rooms on the other side. And then this is the last room, kind of the most uh, westerly room that overlooks the, uh, the Stonehenge-like stone structure. And finally, the last area as you come up here, this is where we came in, you head up this gentle staircase and you get a little garden up here. So this is open to above now, but we're up, up a little bit higher 
so there's a little flat spot here with a little garden, lots of different flowers. There's actually a little water water source here, so we imagine that up in the mountains where there's where there's snow, it's uh, melting and draining and comes down so they could collect their water here. And then you cross the garden, you have a uh, little room here, and another one here. So we try to use the chiseled stone blocks on the walls to kind of break up the space and build little alcoves with torches. Um, here we again have a couple interior rooms. Symmetrical. And then as you head out this way, fairly good sized room here. A little bit of a balcony. And then you're back over to the junction where the wooden bridge heads out. This side, actually, if you come through, <coughs> has, uh, has another little room, but this overlooks kind of in the northerly direction, so there's a bit of a hole here in the mountain as well that it outlooks. So there's, you know, maybe these cliff dwellers could have expanded out in this area, but for whatever reason they only came this far, and this is the only, the only room that looks out this way. Uh, most of the civilized world in this in this server is actually north here. You can see some of the lights heading that way. There's a there's a road that connects that area to this archaeological find. And the last thing is actually this staircase or this ladder. So at some point they decided let's go higher, and they built this long shaft and put in a ladder, ending with a little staircase. And here we are well a higher than now the mountains up at the peak. Uh, there's a little uh, there's a little spire almost of stone and uh, they have just this little room with a lookout on either side of it up here in this stone spire. Yeah, I mean this is absolutely the, the highest point in the whole thing and this is this is pretty neat actually. Yep. Of course it's nighttime now so you can't see nearly as far but yep. during the day it's very impressive. I think that's it. Is that it, Snake? Yeah, that's good for this one. There's actually uh, okay. some interesting basement levels below here. Ah, so. yes. Well, one of the things was that we had Snake had found this site, and we looked at it, and we thought, okay, hey, we can do this. And then he did a little more research on the site, and it turned out there's actually a, well, there's a dungeon underneath. Yeah. But we'll look at that in the next video, I think. we Will do. It's exciting. Okay. All right. Great. Thanks. Well, thanks for watching, folks. Yep. Bye. Th thank you, Snake. Bye.